So in my last video, I asked you guys a question, which one of the tips I gave would you like to see in my next video in details? And Workflow had the most vote. And so this is that video. We're gonna start talking about Workflow, but instead of doing a long video, I decided to just do a step-by-step -step video, short video, or just one step at a time video. I don't know how, you, how to call it. Basically, the Workflow that we're gonna look at is in four parts or four steps. So it's gonna be import, organize, edit, and then export. So we're gonna have about four video at least talking about workflow. And today it's all gonna be about import. How to import your video in a way that will help you edit even faster. Okay, so guys, everyone, welcome back to yet another video on this channel. We wanna help you make your video look good. We wanna help you make your video look nice, look better. We wanna give you all the tips, all the tricks, all the hacks. Basically, we wanna help you in your content creation process, and we wanna do it. We wanna continue to do this for free. Yeah. All these tips that we're gonna share today will help you edit faster, and I hope that you guys will find some value in this video. Uh, but let me know in the comment section, guys, how long does it take you usually to edit your video? An hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours, six hours? Let me know in the comment section how long does it take to edit your video. So as soon as you're done shooting your video, the first thing I want you to do is to copy your footage, copy your media in an external hard drive. Now, I'm going to leave a link in the description. If you want a good, reliable, but fast external hard drive, it's important that you have your footage on a hard drive somewhere, maybe internal hard drive or external hard drive, just a copy and back it up, back it up. Just copy, have a copy of it on another external hard drive. Uh, you can never be too safe when you edit. Anyway, you can do whatever you want, but my suggestion is that you copy it on an external hard drive, external SSD fast hard drive. So now you're ready to import your footage into Final Cut Pro, or at least you think you're ready. <laughs> Before you import your footage into Final Cut Pro, there are a couple of settings that you need to be aware of. These are the settings that's gonna set the tone of your editing workflow. So that's why these settings are very, very important. So let's check it out on Final Cut Pro preferences. And then we wanna go to the import tab right here where we can see these settings that we can customize just the way we want it. This is what these settings means. These original settings means that when you're going to import your footage, your media into Final Cut Pro, Final Cut Pro will make a copy of them, actually multiple copies of them. First, you can ask Final Cut Pro to create the optimized media file. You can also tell Final Cut Pro to create what we call a proxy files. And proxy files are just lower quality version of your original footage. And you can use them to, you know, to edit faster, especially if your computer is not that powerful. Now in these settings, you can choose where you want Final Cut Pro to put all these copies, the proxy copies and the optimized copy on your hard drive. So if you choose to copy the footage in the library storage location, this means that Final Cut Pro will create the copies in that location. The point is all these are optional and you can choose whatever suits your workflow, whatever suits your computer. But also we wanna choose not just the easier path, but also the safest path. If you want to know where your library is located, just click on your library and then check in the inspector tab on your right, on the top right over there. You can modify the settings to change your library location. I have mine in, um, you guessed it, an external SSD hard drive. I'm actually serious, guys. These help me a lot. This SSD hard drive helped me a lot. So I hope that it will help you guys as well. Because here's the thing, we wanna lessen the workload of the computer as much as possible. So if you don't have a powerful computer, I would really consider using those external hard drive, SSD, fast, reliable, but good hard drive. Yeah, it helps. So now that you have those settings nailed down, now you can import your media, your footage into Final Cut Pro. And there are several ways to do that. One of them is, for example, to use your keyboard shortcut, Command I. And uh, another one is to just drag and drop. Or you can go to File and then choose Import Media. So you guys will notice here that the same settings that we just customized earlier will still be here when you import. You don't have to create a proxy. You don't have to create an optimized media. You can just work with your original media, which I don't recommend. You never know what's gonna happen to the footage. So you just gotta be a little bit more careful now. And actually when you're in the process of importing your media, you can check right here on your left, on your top left right here, 
what's going on behind the scene, what Final Cut Pro is actually doing. And you will see here that Final Cut Pro will not just import your media, but also will transcode your media. Final Cut Pro is actually copying, creating the proxy, creating the optimized version of your footage. And that's what transcoding means. Now, quick pro tip for those who don't have an editing computer, a beast computer, <laughs> a powerful computer. I would say wait until Final Cut Pro is done importing and transcoding all the footage and all the media that you want to uh, edit before you even go to the next step. And the next step is, of course, to organize your footage. Yeah, so that's the next step, organizing your footage. And we're going to talk about that in the next video, uh, organizing your footage in a way that will help you edit faster. But that's all I have for this video, guys, and I hope you got some value from this one. If you did, press the like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, push that notification bell so that you will never miss any content from this channel. And I will see you guys in the next one, hopefully. Peace.